Do bodybuilders get hernias? They're lifting weights all the time, and my dad got a hernia just picking up furniture. It's really variable. There are people who get hernias lifting small everyday items. And bodybuilders are lifting 40 or 50 pounds repeatedly. Babies sometimes have belly button hernias, and they can barely lift their heads. What does that have to do with anything? Some people have a tendency toward a hernia, such as those who never had a belly button hernia fixed. When those individuals start lifting weights, they end up having surgery for a hernia. That's an abdominal surgery. That'll blow a hole in your training schedule. If it is caught early, they'll sew things up and you're back to training in 6 to 12 weeks. But if the hernia gets strangled and you have an infection, you'll be out of sorts for months. How do they patch the hole in the abdominal wall if the muscles don't stay together? They put in a mesh to hold your intestines in place. Will it give you six-pack abs? It will leave a scar, but the size will vary. Can bodybuilding actually cause a hernia? It's called busting a gut. If you lift a weight heavy enough and strain muscles enough to separate, you could end up with your guts spilling out somewhere they don't belong. How often does that happen? Not as often as some people think. Kidney stones and pulled muscles are sometimes mistaken for a hernia. I'd hate to think that a gallstone could lead to me getting the wrong surgery. We know it happens in real life, because there was a guy in the UK who had surgery twice to get his appendix out. He worries what they took out the first time. Why does it seem like only guys get hernias? Over a lifetime, one in four guys gets a hernia versus one in 50 women. Though it isn't always in the stomach, because it sometimes occurs in the groin. Does that literally cause a pain in the rear? 